Second Timothy 1 7. For God has not given for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Today I want to talk to you about fear. My sermon is entitled Fear Not. Say fear not. Tell yourself fear not. Turn to your neighbor and tell them fear not. Say it in your language. Say mensuru. Oh, kase mensuru. Kase kashegbe. Kashegbe. How do you say it? Never. I have a lot of volunteers in this church. Magavo, magavo, eh, gavo. Magavo, kashegbe. Juju, mensuru. Oh, chobina yanka ochim kase kashegbe. Kashegbe. Make you no fear. Uh, no shaking. No shaking. Amen. Let's pray. Father, speak through me and speak to us and take something away and build something in us. And may we never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen. I have a lot of things to say this morning. You are going to be blessed, so pay rapt attention to what I'm about to say. It's going to be a big deliverance to you. Hallelujah. It is established that all babies, all men, all children are born with two fundamental fears. Two fears. Height and sound. They fear only height and sound. And then when there's a loud noise, they shout. Even there are some children, it looks like they have one. But that is the only thing they fear. But research has revealed that the average man walking on earth has over 5,000 fears. And there are 5,000 different fears. So, as the child grows, as we all grow, we learn over 498 different types. 4,998 different types of fear. And many people are in the prison and the bondage of fear. Fear is not good. Fear can 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 do what Satan cannot do. Fear is deadly. And everybody's dealing with one fear or the other. And what someone may ask, what is fear? Fear is an unease. It is a nervous or uncomfortable feeling. When you are uncomfortable and when you are nervous and when you are on ease, not ease, feeling ease about anything, it, it, it shows that fear is around. It is also a feeling of dread, uh, a feeling of an alarm warning to us. And when we feel threatened by something, when something is about to happen or something happens and we feel threatened by it, it, it means that we are in fear. It is an unpleasant emotion that is caused by a threat of danger pain or harm, write it down. It's an emotion and it is an unpleasant emotion. It is usually caused by a threat to comfort, a threat to danger, and a threat to pain or a threat to harm. Then we find ourselves in fear. There are, there are, there are several, several types of fear. Uh, phobia. Hey, there, are, there are even more than 5,000. And every day they are discovering more. The fallen nature and sin is what brings fear. In the garden, when Adam fell, when they sinned, God said, Adam, where are you? You know the comments. The first thing Adam said, I was afraid. I was afraid and I hid myself. Man, we've been fearing since the garden. And when sin came, it brought fear. 
Hallelujah. Now, there are many, many of them. Some of the things that human beings fear, you, you, you will be amazed. People fear crowd. People fear that they will fail. Different people. Some people, one more, one more, one more, on the phone call, throw, say, best say, fear that they will lose a job. He has a girlfriend, has a boyfriend, a beloved. Fear that they will lose the boy. They will lose the girl. They will lose a loved one. Fear of rejection. Many people do things to be accepted because they fear that people reject them. The fear of radical, fear of the unknown, fear that they will not make it in life. Sometimes when people have been going to sleep, they fear that they will not wake up. They don't see the next morning. So men fear women. Just the people right behind them, but fear woman. Fear woman. Fear man. So people say fear nothing woman. Fear everywhere men. Fear this, fear this, fear politician, fear delegate. All manner of fears. Living in fear. Fear of height, fear of disease, fear of fear itself. People fear hell. People fear believers. When we come home, people fear witches. This week I was riding with an Uber driver. Me tina come and say, leave this Sunday, drive him around the way inside. No. Say this man, I see a pulpit. I gotta, I gotta preach. And then I check the app and I, no, I notice the man say, Bismarck. And he turn it. We are calling him with authority. I am Sheno. I'm the men's room, men's room, men's room. Now in real, yeah. And then I see Nyenya. And I'm saying, eh. Now here then, ah, now on to you. Unim Nyenya, and I'm so minim Nyenya Chemie. So we a pamwa home bonnet, a pamwa home bonnet, Namese, a one I'm a tina, Namete back, one I'm a tina, see ye. Namese, which I let a fire that gave to I said, Ah, we pamwa home bonnet, now we are done your Christmas, and we are going to cause or cause some corpus, baby. Nam so soft, Unim is a division, because I saw all about challenging me. Missy, we and pamwa home bonnet, or say, Ah, now, and then I'm in the born, I'm in the born, I buy. <laughs> Let me stick to my preaching. Oh, I'm in the bar, Habano. no. I'm in the no, no. Anyway, in the other Nanyan and Zen, a canoe. Oslo has cannot teach, you know. Oslo has a dent. Hallelujah. The above your people fear death. People fear judgment. Judgment day. People fear, people fear that they'll lose their salvation. People fear that they won't make heaven. But the fear of fear is is is, is not good. Mm, you are not supposed to be in fear. If you fear that you may save you are in sin. And all manner of people fear tomorrow. And people fear change. Say change. People fear people are uncomfortable with change. You don't have to be in answer. You ask all your ask all in your malaria just because we had change. Bibi is a sack of crap and all. Then I say, Bibi, that is the thing that we call fear. And everybody feels it about something. It is not good. Fear renders us powerless. It cripples its victims. Fear has devastating effect on our emotions. It makes us think emotionally and not logically. When people are fearful, your mind shuts down. You, you just think only with your senses and not with your mind. It activates the power of the devil. Similar to the way faith releases the power of God. Faith activates the power of God. Fear activate the power of Satan over us. It has devastating health effect. Not that sometimes when you are afraid, you begin to shiver. It even affects your body. When you are afraid, you begin to sweat. Eh? Oh, look at presentation. Who's true? Then you begin to sweat. It, it affects you. It weakens your immune system. Read about it. Cardiovascular disorders, memory and mental issues, all connected to fear. Sleeping and eating disorders. Fear is a bad thing. Hallelujah. It is something that we all have to deal with every day. And uh, when you see a courageous person, somebody who is courageous, it's not because they are not in fear. Courage is not always the absence of fear, but not giving in to it. Hallelujah. And several times in the Bible, you hear God say, don't fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. 
don't fear. Now, we are going to look at God's antidote to fear. And uh, in the scripture that we just read, we understand that fear in itself, that feeling is eliminated by looking at God in us. Is looking at, it is eliminated by looking at who we are in Christ and what we have in Christ and what God has given us. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. When you look at your surrounding and your circumstances, you will be in fear. But when you look at what God has given you, that is how you know that God didn't give you fear. So say, God has not given us. In this church, we preach the finished work and we preach who we are and what God has given us in him. It's important that we also add that among the things that God has given you, fear is not part of them. Fear of anything here on earth should not be part of any believer's life. Fear should not be. God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love, power, and of sound mind. In the previous verses, before Paul got to the verse 7, in the verse 5 and the verse 6, Paul is trying to remind Timothy, before he reminded him in this text of what is already in him, if you don't know what God has given you, you can accept what God has not given you as part. The thing, the fearful thing about fear is that sometimes when we are in fear, we don't know. We think we are just being careful. We think it is our temperament. We think it's a natural reaction to something. And we accept it. You are just being careful. Like you are just being gentle. But many times it is fear. And it gives Satan access to us. Look at it. Before he said that, don't fear. He said that, when I call you to remembrance, when I call, when I call to remembrance, the genuine faith that is in you, we dwell first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I'm persuaded dwells in you. So Paul is coming to help Timothy. Timothy over here is a teenager. And Timothy is the pastor or the bishop in charge of the church in Ephesus. And his membership, he was the pastor of over 100,000 people. And if you're a pastor, a young pastor in that position, you will come under a lot of criticisms and attack. And Timothy at this time was going through a lot of criticisms and attack. And Paul is writing to him. He can tell that his son is slipping into fear. And he's telling him that, listen, let me remind you of what is in you. There was something that is in you. It was in your grandmother. It was in your mother. It, I am persuaded that it is in you. It is called faith. When you forget about faith, we slip into fear. So Paul is reminding him that, let me remind you that there's something in you that is called faith. Next verse, when you go down, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, salvation, righteousness. He is reminding him, which is in you, when I laid my hands on you, the gift of the spirit. It was after saying all of this, then he went to the verse 7 and he said that God has not given you the spirit of fear. It means that when we get to know what we have already, we know that the things we fear, we should not even fear them. For greater is he that is in us that when you are mindful of the greater one in you, you will know that lesser and incomparably inferior is there anything in this world that potentially can cause you to fear? So, greater is he that is in than he that is in this world. That everything that is in this world and around you that can cause you to fear, if you are mindful of the greater one in you, you can stand before and you can face anything. Don't deal with the fear. Don't, don't, don't cast it away. Don't bind it. Just look into you and see. And even when you look into you, you will see that he didn't give you the fear, but he gave you power. Romans 5.5 5. He gave you his love. 
and he has given you the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, I came to remind you of who you are. I came to remind you of what you have on the inside. That there is nothing that is threatening your safety, your health, your relationship or your family that has a name that can be compared to that which is already on the inside of you. Hallelujah. But there is something interesting about the fear used in this text. The Greek word for this word fear, spell it D-E-I-L-I-A. D-E-I-L-I-A. Dialia. Dialia. This faith, this fear is nowhere else in the Bible. It is used once in the entire Bible. There are several words for fear in the Bible and many of them are repeated. It is this fear. Fear, ha, and kwa dialia. It's in the Bible just once. And what does it mean? It means timidity. It means timidity. So I like how the NIV put this text. The New International Version put it right. For God did not give us the spirit of timidity. The alia. And the, the, the word sound mind over there, also the Greek word it, it came from, also means self-discipline. I will get there. But this dialia is what I'm about to attack this morning. There are too many timid Christians. There are too many timid believers. And it is not good for the church, for the believers themselves, and for the kingdom of our God. This dialia means the, the American Heritage Dictionary defines it in so many ways. It means shy. Shy. Very. So God didn't give the spirit. It means, you see, I did not see the spirit of Tarot Hunte serious. He said, God didn't give you to me the spirit of timidity. When he says, when he sees spirit, words have imparted it. I don't want to get into how we get to fear. We all know how we become fearful. I don't want to teach you. You know why where you landed. Many times it's it's what we experience. And what we, I mean, sometimes we, people's experience can let you become fearful. Somebody went to marry somebody from Brown Half and the marriage didn't work. It's not you, your auntie's cousin's neighbor. And you heard that a Brown Half man beat a woman. So, oh, now you fear Brown Half men. People's experiences. <laughs> I don't want to get into how we get into fear. I don't have time for that. You know it. You want to, you want, you want to talk about the solution. You don't want to talk about the problem. Hallelujah. It means shy. Me ferry, why are you shy? It's a spirit. You heard something. You, 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 you meditated on something. and now you're, God didn't give you that. If you're a shy person, it is not from God. If you are shy, it is not from God. Call it whatever. It's not your temperament. God didn't give you that. God has given you love, power, and sound mind. Whether you feel it, you know it or not. He has given it to you. Now, God didn't give it to you. So, who gave it to you? It was given. See, give. Give. As obin the amount. Where did you buy it? Who gave it to you? Why are you, you, you? There was an exchange. It was given to you. And you accepted it. So you can, you can reject it. You can disown it. And you can throw it away. Hallelujah. It means shy. No. It means to be fearful and hesitant. Hesitant. To be. Oh. Sometimes it causes people to procrastinate everything that they have to do. Fear. 
It's not like you are thinking about it. You are just fearful to do it. There are many, it means to be uncertain. Being uncertain, being always confused can be a sign of fear. To be tentative, to be hesitant, to be indecisive. Irresolute, to wobble. To waver, to be reserved in manner. Later I'll preach about humility. Then you compare it to, to yours and see whether it is humility or it is fear. To be reserved in manner, to be modest, to be shy and to be retiring and to be backward. That is the dialiano as a chirenono. So when you have, when you see these things in your life, you must first of all identify and say that God did not give me this. What he gave me is the gift of everlasting life. The gift of the spirit. He gave me the fruit of the spirit. He gave me faith. He didn't give me this. You must admit that many times when we are afraid, we deceive ourselves that we are not afraid. But we must admit that we are all dealing with some fear. Shy. Shyness and timidity mostly is because of what people think about us and how people will react to what we do. And many times it comes, is deeply rooted in, in self centeredness and selfishness. You are so careful about what people will think about you and how people will react to you. So, in an attempt to protect yourself, you don't just do anything. You, you just call back because you fear what people may say. People's reaction is of concern to you. And so you have become fearful. So you do everything you do to please men. Its root is pride and self-centeredness. When you are too afraid of what others will do. I will share my personal experience with with preaching the gospel. You know, when you preach the truth the way I preach it in this house, there's, there, there are two things involved. You see, every good thing that you do, you must always think about the positive and not the negative. Like preaching the gospel, for example, when you preach the gospel that Paul preached, on the surface, with your mind, you will think, you will fear there can be a natural fear, and I'm saying this thing to all of you. There's a natural fear that a day when the may come, it may look like it will give people the license to sin. And people may not give. The fear that people won't give if you preach the truth. That fear can be there that it will cause people to live anyhow. That fear can be there. But what I ought to, and every preacher ought to do, is this. That you think rather about the people that this truth will liberate, not those that may abuse it. Because every good thing, you have people that will abuse it. So instead of thinking about when I preach, people will not give, or and fear that people will use it as a license to sin, why don't you rather think about the many people? That will release from the bondage of the law and legalism and be liberated. And many times I have come to discover that they are in the majority. And those that may abuse it are in the minority. And out of fear, we almost always think about the minority. And how it may impact them. And neglect the many blessings that will bless the majority. I learned very early corrected myself years ago that when I preach it, I know that if 10 people hear it, one person may decide that it's a license to sin. That's okay. With time, he will know that it's not a license to sin. But I'll not deny the 9 or the 8 who will discover who they are in Christ and live well for God. I will not be found in that fear. Paul wanted to encourage Timothy. 
He was a teenager and he had come under a lot of criticism. Now listen, don't, God hasn't given you the spirit of timidity. Don't be timid because of what the people are saying. You are preaching the gospel I, I preach. Don't add to it. Don't, don't, don't bend to sue them. Don't be afraid of what they will say. One day God told Jeremiah, don't look at the faces of the people. Be courageous. Be of good courage. Don't look at the faces of the people. Don't bend to them. Don't, don't, don't let the good you do be predicated on the reaction you get from people. Do good because you are good. Do good because God says do good. And do not care about how men, what men will say. And Paul had to tell Timothy this. If the pastor had to be taught, he was a bishop of a big church. If he had to be taught not to be afraid, you and I needed more. And this morning, the Lord sent me in the midst of all that we are doing and about to do, and in the midst of what you are doing and you want to do this year, that don't fear. Don't fear. And do not fear. Paul presented power, love, and sound mind as the opposite of fear. Paul said that power and also your spirit, love and self-control or self-discipline is God's antidote or the opposite of fear. And we have to look at these things. The power is, is dunamis. That's the Greek word. Most of the things that God has called us to do is, is, is beyond our ability. Listen, most of the things that God wants you and I to engage in and to do, we cannot do with our own. That is why he has given us power. And we have the power. And he gave us the power because we are not supposed to fear. It means the power of God, the authority he has given you, if you are not mindful of it and you don't know it and you don't remind yourself that you have it, you can slip into fear. Hallelujah. And this power that God has given us is given to us to, to, to serve. Not to manipulate or take advantage of people, but this ability or power of God has been given to us to serve. Hallelujah. We need this miraculous power and he has freely given it to us. And we must know that we have it and not fear anything. And he has also given us love. Receiving God's love will destroy fear in every believer's life. Many times, the, the underlying cause of fear is the absence of love. First John 4, 17 and 18. Let me explain something to you here. First John chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 17. Love is perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we. Look at this. Love is perfected in us. That You see, it is love that brings boldness. It is a persuasion about God's love for you that inspires boldness. It's a persuasion about what Jesus has done for you that inspires boldness, that perfect boldness. In the day, even in the day of judgment, it is, you can walk here and be confident. You know, when we read, when we read John chapter 5, verse 24, some people fear judgment. Some people fear judgment. But he who has believed Jesus will never come into judgment. He will never come into judgment. John 5, 24, it is there, it's clear. Surely I say to you, he who hear these words of mine and, and believe in me, who has sent me, has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment. Some people fear judgment. Why will, why will we not come into judgment? Because the love of God has been shed abroad in our heart. We are perfected in love. And so we have boldness to approach the throne of grace. To discuss anything. So we don't fear judgment then. We don't even fear of losing. You see, I don't fear that the most important thing I have in life is salvation. I don't have fear about losing it. Why do I fear that I can lose what? 
Do you understand? I don't fear death. Death is gain to me. If I don't fear death and I say I fear what? Women. The woman is women are stronger than death. Uh, look at the things we uh, fear cockroach, you fear this, you fear this, you, all the things that we fear. We fear tomorrow, we fear the unknown, we fear that you lose your job. All these things cannot be compared to judgment, salvation, and death. And if I don't fear this three, all the other fears are minor. They are conquered. And the, the understanding where I came to believe that I cannot fear death, I cannot lose my salvation, and I cannot come into judgment is I look into me and I see him in me perfected. And it inspires me gives me boldness that when I see lack, I don't feel lack. I don't fear poverty. I don't fear anything. I don't fear who? Hallelujah. Love. Look at love over here. The, the next verse. There is no fear in love. Hallelujah. There is no fear in love and there is no love in fear. Write it down. There is no fear in love and there is no love in fear. When you see fear in a place, there is no love. We are in Christ, we are in the beloved, we are accepted. We cannot be in fear of anything. There is no fear in love and there is no love in fear. And There is no fear in love. If there is no fear in love, then there cannot be love in fear. But perfect love, listen, perfect love is what casts away fear. And this perfect love is in our heart. And how can you be fearful? Fear another man. Fear a witch. Fear the devil. Bon sam suro. Bon sam po Demons fear you. I told the guy, I told Bismarck this week, I think. I just said, ah, who did he say? Me can't say yes to me. 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 There, now, you see, he was looking for me around where the nyanya was hanging. The mirror driving me around. Now, oh, shimmy, oh, shimmy, let me see. Oh, shimmy, let me see. Why not? My name is my name. I'm right. Right, that being it. Be funny through. Now, so through. No, it's not all yours, Roya. It's not all yours, Roya. I don't fear. Why? Listen, once we become secured in the love of God and we know that God loves us no matter what, that is, that is the day you'll be convinced of that. That is the day fear will pack their things. F will pass here, E will pass here. A will pass here and the arrow will disappear. Until you come to that place where you know that God loves you regardless. His love for you is unconditional. You always have an issue with fear because it is perfect love. Not good love. Perfect love. It's not cast away fear. Because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. You know, you see, the only good fear in the Bible, that fear, let me show you, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge or wisdom. The fear over there is not dialia, it's yira, Y-I-R-A-H. And that fear there is reverence, deep respect, awe and admiration. Now listen. When you become perfected in love and when you become convinced about the love of God, it will cause you to fear God. You fear him not in the sense of fear, kakai, but you say, God, who are you? That David say, who, who, what is a man that you are mindful of me? You, you, you stand in awe, reverence, admiration, the fear here is no fear. You say, Who's running me? Who's running me? Who's running me? Who's running me? 
Or says the Namibe Kun, say Usron, say Bobe Kun. No, the fear here is Yira. Oh! Admiration. You admire, you deep respect. It's the only fear. And many times you see, you will never come here. Now listen. If you fear God, not because of his love, but his terror, you, are, you don't fear God. If you have come to a place where usro nyame, but enye ni do ninti na usro no, that love is not yira. That fear is not reverence. It rather make you timid. Many Christians fear sin. You fear death. You would that that I have been crucified with Christ. Means who? It's not pride. I will sleep one day. Me who that I don't fear. And all these things, I see the love of God in them. Those of us who operate in fear are not made perfect in love. They are opposite emotions and they are mutually exclusive. It, you, 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 you cannot be in faith and love at the same time. Cannot be in faith. If you see, let me give you a typical example. If you understand that God metikama na me nsenya medomia, God loves me so much. He won't let this car be involved in an accident. I don't need nyenya. Mekoda, God loves me. He loves me. I'm the object of his obsession. He loves me. Listen, they can plan. I don't fear witches. Not because listen, I mean that I want name and I'm wo. But me wo nyami bia. Ne ni kumi hu. Me da no bo me hu bai. Odo me dodo. He won't let me dash my foot against a stone. I'm convinced in his love, so I can I can fear. I can fear. I can fear. I'm convinced of her love for me. I don't, I don't, I, when I'm eating her food, it doesn't occur that there can be poison inside. Sound mind. The Greek word over there is write it down. S O S O P H R O S O F R O N I S M O S. It means that time you come to church, come to learn. Don't fear big English, big Greek word in church. This church we learn. That's why he came with a pen and a book and a paper. Hallelujah! You see, I'm a teacher. I'm a pastoring teacher. I'm a teaching pastor. Huh? You expect this thing to come to church. That is that is why you are in fear because you don't know the thing. You could listen. You see. So you understand if you don't know if you don't know how much God has loved you, fear is inevitable. If you're not convinced, and how will you know if you're not taught how much God loves? You? Because everything about you, everything around you, your family, the country you live in, and every pastor you know tells you that God is after you. And God wants to kill you. This year, listen, this, these are the things God has given us. So God hasn't given you fear. He has given you power. He has given you love. He has given you this, the big word, the sorrow, this is not the other one that the latest court leader in town so false so so false so so false it's not any angel maybe this one it means self-discipline or self-control he has given you this so when you combine when you combine the the power and the love the combination, God's love is not love to manipulate or control people, but, 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 but the power to serve others in love, which is coupled with a sound mind. 
and a disciplined life. This year, I want you to go for everything that God has laid on your heart to go for. Sometimes people are so fearful. Or you don't cry no busa direction cry usro. You don't busa no busa be at the crown and the whole popo usro. You are a man. You you love the girl. You can't say it. Usro, you are you are afraid. It's a woman, a woman like you. Then you are you are afraid. You are afraid to apply. You you want can I get your number? Can I get this? Can, talk to the person. You are afraid. Go for it. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, the kingdom of God has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. The bold, listen, our children, they, 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 when I go to Joyful, I'm so happy. All the children there, they are wild. They are wild. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We are seeing no Ghana is for people who are wild. Speak. Be outspoken. Who from who who from Tumago? Who told you? I'm in a I'm in a new family. I'm clothed with righteousness. My father and his family clothed me with 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 with, with Tumago. But I found a new family in Christ, and I'm clothed in righteousness with boldness. And the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Pam was saying, yeah, 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 yeah. And they have a see how no say no. My daughter asks me over fifty questions a day. Yes, she wants to understand everything. Why this? Why are you saying why? She will ask me. Why are you saying why? I like it. You will teach me sometimes. <laughs> but this year, no fear. What do you want? Go and register that business. When we close, tell that woman that you love her. Don't say, what if? What if she doesn't love you? What if she loves you? Why are you so negative? Listen, the things that bring fear, one of them is, is doubt. 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 What if I send? What if I apply and don't get? What if you don't get? What if I go and she says she's already dating? What, what if? What if I start and it doesn't work? What if I go and I don't meet her? What do people say? You are proud, though. Yeah, do you know the people that have been bounced in this world? We are bounced one another day. Listen, don't doubt. Be in faith. That is why Paul, before he said God hasn't given you fear, he started by saying that I remind you of the faith in your grandmother. You have faith. You must be positive that you will get it. What if she says yes? What are you always saying? What if she says no? Me too. What if she says yes? What if she says yes? See, the person is a rich man's son, a rich man's daughter. So you fear. You've forgotten about who your father is. That's why you fear the rich man's daughter. What's wrong with you? Do what? Go and preach the gospel. You are afraid. What, what if invite somebody to church? Invite somebody to church. What if she doesn't come? Go and knock somebody's door and say, let's go to church. You are afraid. What's wrong with you? If you fear invite, if you fear somebody saying, I can't go. And you tell them that you don't fear that you lose your salvation, I doubt you. And you say you don't fear death. You don't fear. You say you don't fear riches, but you fear they will reject your Jesus. You fear that they will say they cannot come. They cannot come right there. And so what? In the verse eight, in the verse eight, he said that don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Therefore, don't be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me. 
his prisoner. I am a prisoner of the Lord and I'm proud of it. God was a preacher. He preached in Galatians chapter 3 verse 8. Jesus was a preacher. I'm a preacher. Shamelessly, I'm a preacher. I go to church. You don't want to hold back. You are ashamed. Paul said in Galatians 1 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every day you are negative. You are negative. What if? What if I go and they say they won't go? Let's go to church. Let's go to church. Oh, and I mean Timinko. Okay. Next week, let's go to church. When you do it eight times, she will follow you. But I won't say, Ubu, Ubu, say, don't be ashamed of the gospel. Go back. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Go back to 2 Timothy 1 8. Therefore, don't be ashamed of the testimony, nor of me. His prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God. Don't be ashamed. This is what you want to do. Who's about register company last year? One register. Then I yell, I did Papa Bia, Obeya, now Hopopo. And you'll fear before. And never ye. Take a bold step. Even when we are coming to God, although we have, you see, although we have the nature of God in us. And we are forgiven all of that. In, in, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, he said, let's come with boldness. You need, you, need, you need boldness. Because you live in this world and sometimes you make mistakes, you sin and all of that. He knows that sometimes when you are coming, over there on come with boldness. Regardless, come with boldness. Every day, when you have prayed, come with boldness. When you have not prayed with for one year, come with boldness. When you have prayed, come with boldness. When you give still worship, come with boldness. When you have given still worship, come with boldness. I'm a boldness. How do you be bold? Namiba. Namiba. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. The righteous is as bold as a lion. The who is righteous here? Why are you so timid? Why are you so you are shy? You are hesitant. But the righteous, you see, it's not every righteous that is bold. The righteous who know. Sometimes one of the reasons for their bold, the 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 timidity eh, is born. Tiwi. Ignorance, it gives birth to timidity. It's not the right the righteous who know that they are righteous. Everybody is righteous, every believer is righteous. But and he's transferring it to the members. Anything, your mother's family, your father's family, they have influence for 13 years. Mother's family, every lion, every crab, every this, every day, fear. We say, Empire, no fear, no faith. Fear, no faith. They think they are praying. Team free. Team to Yes, it's ice cream. The prophet is that they sweat. They burn some calories in prayer. You know, faith. The problem is, eh, the root cause of the fear and the way many people are living a fearful life is how they became born again. The fear that they became born again, it was not by faith, it was by fear. They didn't come to God because God loved them. They came because they are, they are running from hell. They fear hell. They fear hellfire. So that day, they are not, many people are not born again. Many are not born again. Faith coming by hearing, and hearing the word of God, not hearing fire. Twenty-three minutes in hell. Karachi, some of never said. Karachika. O call girl, hobana ye is a moving the chair. O bear fasting. Even if nothing, nothing, nothing happened. There's a fear. Two things, two forces push people into prayer, fear and faith. Make sure you are not praying because of fear. You are praying in faith. Faith, Fear cannot inspire you to go and pray and pray in faith. Don't fear. Go and apply for that job. 
I said, take that bold step. When you are walking Mount Tissot, lift your head high. You are a child of God. You are righteous. You see, this is the reason why all the boldness, eh, it starts with knowledge of righteousness and who you are. Now you understand why Paul went up by telling Timothy who he, who he was on the inside, the gift you have received, the faith you have, that you are righteous. It brings boldness as a lion. Are you bold as a lion or cat? Or dog? Or war gecko? Or ant? But this is who you are. Don't fear anybody. Don't fear disease. Don't fear the future. Your future is settled. Listen, it's not just your future on earth. Your future in eternity is settled. You can't doubt 10 years to come. Don't fear the future. Pregnant woman, don't make sure that you don't have any fear at the back of your mind. Also, you can lose something. Sometimes you can have it. I remember when, 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 when a, a, a prophet who didn't hear from God one, one, one day told me uh, that when I, when I marry, I cannot give birth. He said, me. <laughs> me, I can't give birth. I don't want to say some things. But although I knew he was, he was lying, I realized that I didn't know, oh man, I can't make a cry. Chafia ne de oh, Araldo. And I said, me, me, wo. Okay. So when I'm married, we'll continue in part two. In Jesus' name. But fear is not good. I came to say this thing to let you know. I don't know what you have to do this year that you haven't done since January because of fear. God sent me to come and tell you that he's waiting for you. Go and do it. Just do it. It's not Adidas or Nike, but just do it. Just do it. If you fail, you are not the first failure. And you, if you fail, you are not a failure until you stay there. Just say it. Just apply it. Stop imagining evil. What if it doesn't work? Me to my question, what if it works? But learn, oh, if you don't learn, eh, you cannot fake boldness. If you are ignorant, unimshe, unimshe, utinishi, unim, boldness, no, God hasn't given it to you, but walk free. Tell me you. Sometimes the teachers here will say, in Krana Amu, FF4, no more class now. When you see them, let like the confidence they will low. Me what? Me what? Confidence they will low. Wa boom. On a year, you're a boom pass me, my young friend. No, be some bomb pass a young friend. Wa moi. Christonia, wa boom. Boldness, no. Now may they love power, some man, no more. But say, be demonstrating the Near best there, no. Near back, near Ebema. You have to know that you have the power. You have to know that you are loved. And you have to know that you have the mind of Christ. Otherwise, Timidity, dialia, shyness, procrastination, and timidity will be your middle name. But it will not be your portion. Because Jesus says, listen, in Acts chapter, in Acts chapter 4, verse 13, how the disciples were acknowledged was their boldness. When they had been with Jesus for some time, the Bible says that when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, they perceived that they, had, they, are, they were uneducated men, untrained men, but they have received another education. They marveled and realized that they have been with Jesus. The word of preacher is Jesus. You cannot sit under this ministry and hear Jesus, 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 and still be timid. You can't look into human beings' eyes. One day when you go to call, you'll be jailed. You'll be jailed. Is it true? They'll read your body language. They'll
the thing that you have done it, but you haven't done a thing. Look into my eyes. I'm a man like you. Shake me, you can't shake. Like don't be a you be a pump be open tomorrow. What is wrong with you? You don't need deliverance. You need knowledge. You need this word. What did you pay Kasash in the name? What's wrong with you? Even as I'm preaching, people can look into my eyes. What's wrong? Like, like, oh, me, me, oh, fairy me. You are shy of your mother. Oh, fairy, oh, boy. Oh, oh, fairy, oh, pastor. Oh, fairy, oh, beer. Mm. When they saw the boldness, listen, it's the trademark of believers. So, kingdom of God suffered violence. The violence there is the bold. They take it by force. It's not that you don't know how to dance. Oh. It's not that you don't know how to dance. But oh, Faria, dear. Listen, there's liberty in Christ. You see, and I mean, you see, come back to image. You have an image. You see, you are proud. You are proud. You see, you have to admit that you are proud. Because you are concerned about how people people know that you don't know how to dance. If you know that you don't know how to dance, what is it? I don't know person who doesn't know how to dance. Kweku doesn't know how to dance. The whole church, even their son, Nebano Aon Fufron called him Sen Papa Nimasa. Yes! We know. That's if you and I can use him to preach. Kweku, do you know how to dance? You are learning. You too, boy. Too careful in life. You can't be too careful. This life is for people who take risk. You lose some, you win some. Some of them are there. Be told, say, nah, oh man, pray. You take a lot of boldness to cook, watch, and come and put by the roadside when nobody has told you that they are hungry. <laughs> boldness. The boldness. When they saw the boldness, you know the boldness they used to start a church. You know, as we start this area of energy, why am I saying all these things? Once I'm closing. As I'm closing, as I'm about to start the area of fellowship, the Lord ministered to me is many of my children, they want to do it, but they are afraid. They are afraid. They like it. But when they leave here and they think about it, they are afraid. Tell them that. You see, Matthew, even, even, even some leaders are afraid. Some people are even afraid for me. Some people are afraid for me. He's a leader. I know any now. Usuru, God sent me to you. Usuru, why are they afraid? They don't even know, but they are afraid because it's change. Change. You are you are afraid of the change. Everything about it is good. When you preach about it, you love it. But when they say start, you are afraid. Why? When I want to invite them and they don't come. What if they can listen? Obi a warrior say, Obi ba eira, Obi be Obi be Obi ba be send on home later this year. O area fellowship now cost that no. It is God's solution to fix somebody's marriage. What if some, you invite the person, the person comes, follows you to church, and gives us a land? What if I go and they don't come? Me too. What if you go and the person comes and the person sits down and makes a contribution and gets transformed and say one day in heaven, I thank you, that invitation you extended to me. I came and I started my Christian life. I didn't know I was not even born again. When I started coming to an area fellowship, I noticed I was not born again. And I became born again. Don't be negative. Don't be ignorant. And don't doubt. 
in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, he said, Go. Behold, I am with you. So go and start that area of fellowship. Go. 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 Why? Lo, verse 20, I am with you. Go and make disciples. In the year of discipleship, you got to go. He knows you are weak and he's telling us to tell you to go. Because he said he is with you. The verse 20, lo, teach them, I am with you always. I am with you. What if nobody comes? That thing we haven't started. You see, the problem with the people who work in fear is that they they imagine evil, they imagine negativity. But when we are come to eat, you don't imagine what if it doesn't digest. But when it comes to anything good, anything good, then Satan will come and suggest some things you don't imagine. What if nobody comes? Don't fear. Tell your neighbor, don't fear. Can't shake by you. You can do it. Listen, God, God, God uses weak people. He uses people like you and people like me. And it is possible. All things are possible. With God. When God said, I am with you. Behold, I am with you. And if he is with you always, there's no one day you will gather people that he will not be with you. And if he is with you, all things are possible. I don't fear. Forget about the fear. Boldly invite people. Just go, that's it. I want you to come. 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 Tell people about Jesus. It's because of this timidity and this, this, this lack of confidence that the gospel is lacking. And people are not people are doing evangelism. Let's go for evangelism. Let's go. Even prayer, people fear prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer meetings. You don't ask, so we won't sing. We won't sit down and pray. We will stand there and pray. Uh, the, the way they will come when it is just 15 minutes to this. Is, oh, yes, you will you are, the, you have, are you sure you don't fear prayer? That's why we don't see you on Friday. Are you, are you sure you don't fear prayer? I end with Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not. That's the title of my message. Fear not. Why? Not because you are able. Not because you are competent. Fear not. Not because you have money. Fear not. Not because you come from a good home. Listen to me. Fear not. Not because you are beautiful. Not because you have everything working for you. Fear not. Fear not. Not because all your problems are solved. Fear not. Not because there are no witches. Fear not. Not because you know it all. But fear not. Why? I am with you. And if God be for us, Romans chapter 8, 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? What a joy. We, I'm suffering the things that the early church and pastor and the pain that people go through for serving God. Me too, I'm going through some. If God is for us, who can be against us? Who can we fear? He is for me. God is on my side. That is why I don't fear. He is with me, Francis. He's proven it many times. I have gone through things. Because we pray the gospel, we don't hear about what we go through. We have too many things to say about Jesus. Our testimonies don't matter sometimes. But we go through things. Some of you have received attacks from your families because of what I'm telling you. You don't need to hear this. The things we go, even my wife doesn't know half of them. And they are crap. We have stuff we do. Man, we are not even from now start. We be journey. We be journey. We be journey. But we are still going. 
I said, we are still marching on. The church is stronger. We have the mind of Christ. We have the love of Christ. We have the sound mind. God hasn't given you fear. Bibi chen wadriya, upe so buza, uwa efa nkasa, upe so buza na sem, asam tanze usuru. Uyere upe so buza na sem, usuru. Usuru. What did you do? I don't understand. Can you explain to me? Yeah, usuru. Usuru asem ka. Eni mo nyampe. Look, look, face in shenim. I service. Just say, you know, a hypocrite. Nen nam honu mo. That is what fear can do. But I came to release us from the prison of fear. And release you into the prison of the love of God. Where perfect love cast away every fear from your life. This week, go for it. Apply for that job. Call that person. Send that proposal. Can I do not share panel? Can I free? Messi can. Now you free. Messi a day. It's no you are all those of you are thinking about men going to propose to women. Also, who will be also catch you be now you free. Me count them and casabim. Who's rose or no one casabim? A yes rose. Say it and be free. I don't like the way I don't like the way you talk to me, please. But what mean can usro say who can? But say that no who? Missy can? No who? In Jesus' name, Amen. No more fear. Say no more fear. No more fear of death of women. Of witches, of what rejection, the unknown, any form of fear, any fear of change. We embrace change. We embrace change. We embrace new things. In the mighty name of Jesus, fear of crowd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.